essential oils. So lavender, great for aromatherapy, right? When you get massages, There's tea tree oil. There's a whole store here in New York. I didn't feel smart enough to go into it. All they sell is this stuff. Yes. And it has like some weird quote on the thing, you know, some Zen quote on the side of the thing. And I'm like, yes. what do they sell there? This place was packed during the holiday yes. season. Yes, okay, but the thing is, people are trending and saying that they should put a couple of drops of peppermint on their food and then eat it. You're not supposed to eat these essential oils, guys, okay? <laughs> okay. And that's, so that's number one. You're not supposed to ingest them, and that's because these things are not they're FDA not regulated. They're, yeah, not they're not extracts. They're not extracts for your kitchen. Very that's important. A different thing. Very right. important differentiator. Gotcha. Okay. The other thing is, I'm a big fan. Put them on your skin. You can breathe them in for cold and flu season. Big fan of eucalyptus, lavender. Breathe that in. Helps open up your sinuses. However, you want to make sure that you dilute them. The key is a 1 100th dilution. So that's about a cup wow. of water. One and then two, two drops. drops. That's it. Otherwise, it's going to be very irritating to your skin. And I'll tell you, tea tree oil in particular, people put it highly concentrated right on their wounds. They it think burns, it helps to heal. Right? It, it burns and it prevents wound healing, and it is one of the most common contact allergens. So.